Today, my husband is cooking an easy pork bulgogi for lunch. This is something he does quite often. It's easy and it's less of a recipe and more of what we ate today. This is gonna be good. So the weather is cooling off from the summer heat and the kids didn't wanna come inside. So my husband said, you know what? Let's go watch them play outside and I'll cook lunch on the patio. You can definitely do this on the stove top. So what my husband likes to do is use a pre-mixed marinade out of a jar. And here he has about a pound and a half to two pounds of pork, one large onion, and this is the marinade that he likes to use. And he also likes to add around a quarter cup of rice cooking wine, and that's it. And he lets it marinate for about 30 minutes to an hour, and he added extra sauce on top. Now that the pan's preheated, he's going to add a little bit of cooking oil, and then he's going to add the marinated pork. Now, with the pork, he did slice a very large yellow onion and added lots of chopped garlic. Now he's just going to cook the meat. So at this point, the pork meat is done, and he's going to add some fresh chopped green onion or scallions. And here he's been soaking in cold water rice cakes. He's just going to drain the water, and this is also going to go into the stir fry. I don't know if that is traditional. When I asked him, he said it's just something that his mom did, and he likes it. So he just continued something that his family liked to do sometimes with stir fries. And I gotta say, the added rice cakes is pretty yummy. Okay, so the rice cakes and stir fry cook for an additional 10 to 15 minutes. And once the rice cakes are soft and cooked through, they kind of absorb any liquid left in the stir fry. It's time to eat. And this smells and looks great. So to eat, he just likes to make wraps with it. And honestly, it's seasoned so well, I don't even think he adds the sauce. I think it was just out of habit. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.